But who's got this with a camera up here? Anyone got this? Okay, see this little, um, these two pictures? I was in the Horn of Africa only about three months ago. This little babe, it was about a day or two of dying, I was advised. And so we arrived um, with the World Food Program. Uh, the woman standing next to me in the photograph is Josette Sheeran. She's the International Director of the World Food Program. And we, as I said, are the third largest donors to this particular emergency crisis, uh, this uh, famine in the Horn of Africa. And we went through the lines very quickly and picked out those kids through the signs of their feet, the distended nature of their stomachs, except for the usual signs of impending death from malnutrition, and identified those kids who literally were at death's door. Two months later, there he is. And that's because we were able to provide, through your $8, emergency nutrition packs which have made this guy into a bouncing little baby boy. Now, that is a very practical example. Death, life saving lives in your name. And so supporting the aid program makes a difference and therefore your support for making a difference, sorry, I don't need your picture, um, is terrific. Getting behind public appeals like the Horn of Africa again, we're now doing dollar for dollar with World Vision and about six, seven or eight other NGOs for the Horn of Africa appeal. You put a dollar, the Australian government put in a dollar so that you know that your dollar has been driven further. Becoming an, an avid an Australian volunteer for international development. Uh, these are great opportunities for folk uh, in mid-career, end of career, who want to spend a year or two years working voluntarily in an international development program. We've developed this in partnerships with the PGA bodies in Australia. And the whole idea is that if you are a professional plumber, uh, you are a professional but retired doctor, uh, you are an engineer, uh, or you are just a good-hearted soul, um, then we can actually usually find a place where you can work as a volunteer, but support it through a proper structure. A very meaningful contribution in your life. And again, you can find the details of that on the AusAid website as well. You can register with the Australian Civilian Corps. We've introduced this this year as well. We want as a standing reserve army of 500 plus individuals covering all the critical disciplines and emergencies so that when a crisis hits, we can deploy not just the Australian Defence Force, but a ready standing team of doctors, engineers and others who are absolutely necessary in restoring order in a crisis and bringing uh, emergency aid to those who need it. And of course you can work with your local community groups and non-government organisations as well. That's it from me. Over to you. That's what we do in Australian Aid in the world.